by the testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back. Uh, we are back with another quick hit twice a day. Uh, this episode is going to be all about Canelo Alvarez versus Ivani Yildrum. Uh, we're going to get into, is it a duck or, or is it not, or, or, or what to make of this fight. Ivani Yildrum is obviously not one of the best 168 pounders in the world, but we're going to get into all that, and, and is Canelo ducking or whatever. Uh, but first, like and subscribe, guys, please. Again, quick hits. We come at you twice a day. We did a show earlier today um, on the TV. Lopez Cambosis Purse bids. Sorry about that. Uh, and I'm in Texas right now in, in Fort Worth. We're having thunderstorms. Um, so if you hear that in the background, don't be alarmed. That's just the thunder in the back. Not much I can do about it. Uh, but like and subscribe. Share it all from social media. Quick hits comes at you twice a day, just eight to ten minute shows, uh, just to keep you up to date on all the latest boxing news. Uh, like I said, we did a show earlier today on Cambosis, and now we're doing it on the Cambosis TV mill. Purse bids, the, 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 the huge uh, purse bids that went down, $6 million. And now we're going to come back. We're going to break down this uh, Yield Drum Canelo situation. Um, I, I said on Mixed Combat Radio, um, with my co-host Matt Hunter, that a lot of the boxing world, the boxing Twitter sphere, etc., the boxing media, um, you know, the boxing community was going to come after Canelo and say he's ducking and dodging for fighting the drum. Okay, but Canelo don't care. Canelo fights the best. And then you're going to say Yildrum's not the best. Canelo has been specific in saying that he wants to be undisputed. Okay. If he wants to be undisputed, he has to win all the belts. He has two of them. Remember, uh, the WBC and the WBA. The only ones he doesn't have are the WBO, Billy Joe Saunders, and the IBF, Caleb Plant. Now, if he wants to have all four belts, he has to keep all four. He has to keep these two and win the other two. Now, how can he keep the WBA? He has to fight Yildrum. Okay, so this is a mandatory. If he doesn't fight Yildrum, he loses his belt. If he loses his belt, guess what he can't do? He can't become undisputed, which is ultimately his goal. So, guys, this is not a duck, okay? I just want to run you through Canelo. He fought Danny Jacobs, a 160-pound champion. Then he came back and fought the jumped up two weight classes and fought the man at 175, Sergey Kovalev, okay, beat him, was out of the ring for a year, uh, with contract disputes, negotiations with Golden Boy, the whole lawsuits, the whole thing, went back down to 168, okay, and beat the best guy at 168. I don't want to hear Canelo is ducking or dodging or this is a cherry pick or Tim Bradley says he's not fighting the best. He is more than anyone else in the sport fighting the best. He just fought the best guy at 160 besides him, 168 and 175 in his last, literally his last three fights. I know that covers a lot of ground. It was a pandemic. He only fought once last year. And then he fought twice in uh, 2019. Um, but he's literally fighting the best. Literally. He's fighting the best guys possible. He's riding the best guy in each weight class. Now, Yildrum is a mentor. He has to fight him or lose his belt, and he can't become undisputed. Do you know who he said he's going to fight the next two fights? He's going to fight three times this year. He's fighting in, in, in July. Oh, no, he's fighting in May, right? He's fighting in May, and he says he's going to fight Billy Joe Saunders. That would be for the WO belt. That'll be one belt. If he win, should he win that, he'll have one belt left to go get the IBF. Which he says he's going to fight Caleb Plant before the end of the year. So he says he's going to fight three times this year. And he'd have all the belts. In order to have all the belts, he's got to fight Yildrum. Um, so if you're out there saying Canelo is ducking and dodging and Canelo's not fighting the best guys, he should be fighting Charlo or Benavides or Billy Joe or Andrade or whoever. The goal is to become undisputed, to have all the belts. In order to do that, he has to take this fight. 
Look, you can say Canelo's overrated. You can say Canelo, whatever you want. Canelo doesn't duck and dodge, and this goes back. But he had the Mayweather fight on lock. He had that fight. You know what we fought in the interim? Austin Trout, who beat Cotto, right? So he put the Canelo, he put the Mayweather fight at risk to fight Austin Trout, someone no one wanted to fight. Beat him. He came back. He got destroyed by Mayweather. Okay, fine. Um, he, he he fought Angulo, and then he said, I want to fight Laura. I want to fight the next best pure boxer out there. His promoter, Oscar De La Hoya, at the time said, do not fight him. You can't beat him. He said, I want to fight Laura because he's the next best guy. He's the best boxer. He's the next best guy. He fought Laura. He probably got lucky. He got his My point is, he fights the best guys. If your argument is that Canelo is ducking and dodging people, it's a ridiculous argument. Look who he fights. He went up and fought the best guy at 175. Then fought the... He fought the biggest name at 175. Right? All the champions at that time were pretty close. He fought the best guy at 175. Went back down. Immediately fought the best guy at 168. Right? And the fight is the best guy at 160. Besides him. And you guys are going to complain. Well, he's going to fight Jamal Charlo. He's going to fight Benavides. He's going to fight five guys at one time. It's enough. Okay? Um, look, is this fight going to be one side, one, one way traffic? Is it going to be a one sided beatdown? Absolutely. Because yield jump's not that good. If you're mad that Yildirim's not that good, which he's not, you ought to be mad at the sanctioning body, not at Canelo. Because they're the one who says you have to fight Yildirim if you want to keep your belt. That's not on Canelo. It's not, you can't blame Canelo for that. Okay? He doesn't make his mandatory. He doesn't, he doesn't rank the super middleweights. He just fights them. And they said you want to keep your belt, which he does because he says he wants to be undisputed. Now, if later he fights other fights and he vacates belts, then you can come back and say this was a cherry pick. Until then, he's got a proven track record of fighting the best guys weight class. And this is a fight he has to take if he wants to make his goal of being an undisputed champ at 168. Has to do it. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Remember, quick hits. We come at you twice a day, 8 to 10 minutes a show. Uh, just to keep you up to date in the loop of everything that's going on in the boxing world. Please uh, smash the thumbs up button. Uh, share on all forms of social media. I hit the bell icon so you get notified every time we go live. It is February 25th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get the Iron Boy in the class of 2021. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. Three Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.